In my previous video, I showed you how to get Digibyte solo mining up and running on Umbral, and I actually made one mistake uh, when I posted that video and I uploaded the written steps along with the template to apply. The fee was a little bit too low, and it actually doesn't it doesn't give the pool wallet enough funds to send out the payment. So I'm going to show you what it looks like if your fee is too low and what you can do to adjust it so that uh, this doesn't happen when you hit a block. So I'm going to open my web UI and I actually hit a block here. So when we pull this up, you can see that I've hit a block. However, nothing has been paid out. So if I click into this and I head over onto the blocks tab, you can see I hit a block two days ago. So on Thursday, I hit a block. It is fully confirmed. The reward was 277.39 Digibyte. And I didn't get the payout, right? If I go to payments, there's no payout. Nothing to be crazy alarmed about here. We can fix this. Super simple. But the first thing we want to do is it is confirmed. So it should be in our pool wallet. But we can head on over to the getting started tab. We can click on the pool wallet address. This is going to bring up the Digibyte block explorer. And this is going to confirm with us or to us rather that we do have funds in the wallet. So we've got 277.39. Now, how do we find out why, did, why didn't the payout go through? I'm gonna show you how to do that. So uh, I'm gonna open Putty and I'm gonna remote into the Umbral server. And we're gonna run a command to check the pull balance. That's the first thing we wanna do. And I'll leave these commands in the description below. But essentially, it's similar to how we create the pool wallet. It's just we're going to send in the get balance command. And we're going to have to enter our password here. And we can see we do have 277.39. So the funds are in our pool wallet. Now, the next command we're going to run is we're going to look at the logs for, uh, for Mining Core. Now, you can do this through the web UI. But I find it easier to just uh, run this command from the terminal since I'm already here. Basically, we're going to look at the logs and we're going to only look at the payout lines. And what we're going to see here is it tried paying out 277.39 um, to the wallet address I was mining to. But it didn't have enough funds to actually send out. And that's because if you take a look here, our balance that hit our pool wallet is 277.3935. And we're trying to send out 27.390. That means our pool wallet is a, would only have 0 .00, um, 0 0.003 in order to pay transaction fees and all that. That is way too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix the config file for mining core first. So we're going to do a cd.miningcore and then we're going to do a nano config.json. We're going to come in here. We're going to scroll down to where our digibyte setup is and we're going to change this reward recipient is the important one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to balance these out. So I'm going to do 0 0.005 um, to our pool wallet. So that's 0.005%. And then I'm going to switch uh, the basically like my developer fee down to 0.005. So it's still going to be a 0.01% fee, uh, but we're sending a little bit more now to your pool wallet uh, versus what was going to me. So we're going to enter this, do control X, Y, enter to save. Now, after you make that change, you can hop back on over to Umbral, right click on mining core, Hit restart. It's going to restart mining core and it's going to auto start. It's going to read in the config file, auto start back up the stratum. So when you do this, any ASICs that you have connected to it, they may fall off for a couple minutes, but they should reconnect. If they don't automatically reconnect, then you could just reboot your ASICs. Now, uh, well, while that's restarting, we basically have two paths to get more funds into the wallet basically in order for it to be able to pay out. So one method is we can just take our pool wallet address. We could send a couple digibyte to this address and everything would be fine. 
The other option is we can manipulate the database so that that first payout is a little bit lower to our wallet. And that's the path I'm going to take just so I can show you guys how how you could adjust that down in, on the database side and then have it send out um, and not have to worry about constantly refunding the uh, or reallocating funds to your pool wallet. Now, on an ongoing basis, as more blocks are found, uh, the pool wallet will get a little bit more dust in it to pay for those transaction fees in the future. Uh, but we just had that fee set a little bit too low. So uh, if we hop back on over here, we can see that we are still sitting at a 0.01% fee. So our fee hasn't gone up, just that distribution has. Um, so now we're going to go back to Umbro. I'm going to open Postgres and copy the username here. And we're going to say open. Um, actually, I already logged in. So we're going to, if you're not already logged in, you just enter your username and password to log in. And then we're going to go to mining core. We're going to expand servers, databases, mining core, expand schemas. Then we're going to expand tables. We're going to come down to the balance one. We're going to right click on it. You can just do view and edit data. And then you can just do all rows if you want. In this case, we've only hit one block. It hasn't been paid out. So our balance is, um, there's only gonna be one record for our balance anyways, uh, because we only have one mining address we're mining to. So we're gonna come in here and we can double click on this and we can adjust the amount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this down to let's just say 277 even. Hit enter. And then the important thing you wanna do here is click this save data changes button, right? Then we can run our query and we can see we're now down to 277 in that wallet. Now, uh, by default, the payment processor runs every 10 minutes, I believe it is. So we're gonna wait a few minutes and then we're gonna validate that our payout happens. So I showed you how to do it in the terminal. I'll also show you how to do it on the web UI. If that's something that you would prefer, you can come over to uh, Dozzle, go to Mining Core Server. You're gonna click on this one and you're just gonna do Control F and then you're gonna type uh, pay. And you can basically do the payout handler. And you can see the last time it ran was at 227, which was three minutes ago. Uh, so we do have to give this um, a little bit. Uh, so this will take, like I said, I believe I have it set up. It's either a five minute or a 10 minute interval. So we're gonna give this a few more minutes and validate that our payout actually goes through. It's been 10 minutes and you can see the payout handler has just run. And so you can see it is paying out um, the Digibyte to the address. So here we can see uh, 277 coins and it sent out the transaction. We've got the transaction ID here, reset the balance, and I just received it in my wallet. But if we get it getting started and click on the pull wallet again and head on over, you can see that uh, we now have it sent out. So um, what you're gonna notice happens here, it's gonna show that the pull wallet balance is zero. And that's because anytime a transaction sends out, it actually puts the dust into a different wallet. Um, but all of those funds become available to the pool wallet. If we take a look here, we can see that it sent out 277, but then basically sent to itself 0 0.037. And so what we're gonna see here with this is if we go back to the pool wallet, and let's run our command again to see what our balance is. We have 0.37 available. So those are the funds that are there now. So that is what is available to send out. So uh, everything looks good. It's processing uh, the transactions as it should be. 
Uh, so we are good now. Next time block gets hit, we'll get that 277 or whatever the block reward is at that time. And it'll have enough to send out that payment with hopefully something like this in, um, you know, left over so that we always have a little bit in the wallet, but not a whole lot. So that's kind of the idea here with this pool holding wallet. You know, that's how you fix it. Again, the easiest way is just to send a couple coins to it um, to get it funded. But the important thing is make sure you update that config file to be a little bit higher percentage. So I did 0.005% in this case. And then, uh, you know, just make sure you do that and restart the Mining Core app after you make changes to that file. If you do not restart the Mining Core app, it will not pick that up.